What up, HyperChange? Welcome to TLDR, your weekly news recap of good stuff happening in the tech and finance space. Our first piece of news this week is solar energy is becoming cheaper than coal. That's right, I was on Reddit and there was this viral video this week of an energy presentation that was highlighting how the costs of solar have dropped so dramatically that it's actually now more economical than every other form of energy on the entire planet. Based on some of the new projects that are set to be coming online in a few years, the, the evidence in the talk is saying that some of the new projects that are being bid on have as low of a price as three cents or below per kilowatt hour to put things in context new natural gas plants are being built at a cost of five to six cents per kilowatt hour coal plants are in a similar price range so this would mean that solar energy is the most economical power source by far this is awesome news for the renewable energy activists the whole transition off of fossil fuels is getting a lot more steam now that it's actually more economical than anything else to install solar panels epic news building on this Tesla just completed its 100 megawatt battery in South Australia this week. This was a project that they had a 100 day deadline to complete. If they didn't, they would have to be paying out of pocket. Well, guess what? Tesla did hit a deadline and they actually finished it. This battery is massive. It can power up to 30,000 homes for an hour at full capacity. So awesome to see Tesla's, you know, theoretical battery solar technology actually being put to use in the real world on a big scale. Moving to the next piece of news, Uber has announced that it will be planning to buy 24,000 SUVs from Volvo from the years 2019 through 2021. Now, it's not an exact number, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, a lot of fluff in this partnership deal. They don't even specify whether the cars are going to be all electric, whether they're going to be a hybrid, or whether the internal combustion engine. Interesting to note that Uber actually initially partnered with Volvo in August 2016, a month after Tesla said that it would be launching its own version of Uber's ride hailing service called the Tesla Network. So I think Uber would have loved to partner with Tesla and use the electric Model 3 for its own ride hailing service, but Tesla was like, no, you can't do that. We're going to launch our own network, which is only going to have Teslas on it. And so that's why you're seeing Uber partner with Volvo. We'll see what happens here. There's no question that Uber successfully needs to transition to autonomous vehicles or they're going to have a really tough time keeping up in the future of the transport industry. In other news, sleep is getting better. Purple has announced that they're teaming up with the mattress firm to launch in 13 stores in a trial beta program so they can actually have a physical retail presence. Purple is one of those mattress startups like Lisa, like Casper, who has an e-commerce native model that is on the cusp of disrupting all these legacy mattress incumbents. If you think about it, all these mattress stores that were built 50 years ago have massive retail footprints that are now a huge drag on their unit economics. None of these native e-commerce players need to have as much big store footprints. I, in fact, myself have a Casper. I love it. The mattress industry is getting disrupted. So really interesting to see Purple now actually go into physical retail by partnering with a legacy mattress store called The Mattress Firm. This beta program, if it's successful in Washington, D.C., could be rolling out across all the country soon. So be sure to stay tuned for that and be on the lookout if you need a new mattress. Next piece of news is Elon Musk's boring company raised $300,000 in an initial hat offering. Yep. I'm wearing my hat right now. They sold about 15,000 of these boring companies hats for 20 bucks a piece to raise funding for the company. That's a great little piece of news, but in real more exciting news about the boring company, they've just applied for excavation permits to expand their LA tunnel network, which is already now hundred meters long. And they want to expand it all across LA going straight from the Hawthorne SpaceX headquarters, eventually to the airport of LAX, it sounds like. So a ton of exciting stuff as the boring company actually appears to be moving. I hit their website, they have 10 open jobs. So it looks like Elon Musk's boring company, despite Tesla, despite the semi, despite despite the Model 3, despite what he's doing at SpaceX, is also actually succeeding and making progress on his boring company to build a network of underground tunnels so we can all avoid traffic. I'm so rooting for this to take off because it would make transport so much better. But anyway, that's some exciting stuff happening for the boring company. Definitely gonna be watching what they do. In the hyperchange universe, put out a video on LaCroix, the company, the beverage, that little sparkling water can that like everyone seems to be going crazy for. Is there accounting fraud at the company or are they just super profitable? They have a crazy billionaire founder who owns 75% of the outstanding stock. It, they're, they're just just a crazy story, a crazy little company, just such a cult product. I'm not actually too much of a believer in it. I don't even think the product's that good, but I made a video on it. So make sure to check that out. Also made a video about Chipotle's business model and why I think there is a massive structural issue that the quality of the food is tied to how many people are actually going in the store. They need to have a ton of people getting the guac, getting the chicken to make sure it's fresh. So they can keep making more. If it's not, the guac's old, it's turning brown. And this is the fundamental structural issue in Chipotle's business model. Went to a couple of Chipotle stores, checked it out. Then I went on Cheddar on the day before Thanksgiving to talk about Tesla, all about the semi-truck, Tesla's vision, why I think Elon Musk is hustling harder than every auto CEO, and also, more importantly, why I think it's awesome that Tesla's losing money. That's right, I said it. It's part of Tesla's business model to be losing money now because they're investing for the future. As a long-term growth investor, I actually like that they're doing that, so that was an interesting part of the discussion too, so make sure to check that out. Anyway, that wraps up TLDR for this week. This is HyperChange. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace.